हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो इन माय लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बाइनरी फेज डायग्राम एंड लिटिल बिट ऑफ मॉडिफाइड फेज रूल सो टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट मॉडिफाइड फेज रूल इलेबोरेटली modified phase rule for binary system binary system basically which is consist of two components so in binary system we have number of components is equal to 2 so <clears throat> what is the modified phase rule it is f plus p is equal to c plus 1 i think you all can remember this one so this one is for that one thermodynamic variable which is temperature okay and in this case we have taken pressure which is another thermo thermodynamic variable as constant pressure constant which is one atmospheric pressure okay so in this case c is equal to 2 so it will become f plus p is equal to 3 or we can write it as f is equal to 3 minus p so this is the phase rule or uh, we can say uh, degree of freedom when we are taking a binary system for binary system c is equal to 2 now we shall discuss that uh, binary diagram by showing a diagram uh, i will take the example of um, uh, antimony and bismuth diagram antimony bismuth phase diagram in which there will be two axes one will be composition axis another will will be temperature axis so now we will talk about this diagram where this is antimony antimony bismuth diagram sb bi 
phase diagram so uh, i shall discuss about this antimony bismuth phase diagram right now so this is the antimony bismuth phase diagram as i have discussed about uh, the composition variable in my last class you can see here i have written as from left side to right side as in alphabetic order antimony it is starting from a that's why it is in left side and bismuth bismuth is from uh, b so that's why it is in right side so from left hand side to right hand side the percentage of bismuth is increasing from 0 to 100 percent and from left hand side to right hand side the percentage of this antimony is decreasing from 0 to sorry from 100 to 0 percent so from left hand side to right hand side the percentage of bismuth is increasing and from right hand side to left hand side the percentage obviously it is weight percent weight percent of antimony is increasing weight percent okay and in this side it is temperature axis temperature axis y axis is temperature and x axis is x axis is composition so here we have two components one is antimony and another is bismuth and we have three oh, sorry we have two phases one is liquid phase another is solid phase so uh, we shall discuss about these two phases for different composition for different composition in this diagram so in this diagram you can see here a, uh, we have one line and here we have another line this line this golden line is called solidus line and this upper line upper golden line is called liquidus line solidus line and liquidus line so below this solidus line below this solidus line we all have solid phase okay and above of this liquidus line we all have liquid phase only liquid phase is there in the above of this liquidus line and only solid phase is there in the below of this solidus line so below this solidus line solid phase is in equilibrium and above of this liquidus line liquid phase is in equilibrium state and here in between this solidus and liquidus line both phases are in equilibrium we have both the liquid and solid phases in between liquidus line and solidus line we have the both phases liquid phase as well as solid phase so here we are taking a temperature which is in between 1000 uh, sorry uh, 1100 fahrenheit to um, that 1200 fahrenheit so last day i uh, told told you that uh, like this line this line or you can say this line this is constant constant temperature line constant temperature line where the composition is varying okay here the composition is varying to discuss about uh, i can show you so uh, 
at the last lecture here it was a a is 100% and in this side right hand side b is 100% so here up to 30% of b 30% of b that was alpha phase and after 80% of b it was beta phase so in this case if we take this line 900 degree fahrenheit line in this case this point point 2 where 30% of bismuth is present and 70% of antimony the composition is consist of 30% of bismuth and 70% of antimony and we have the both phases in this case liquid phase as well as solid phase but here up to this composition we can say it as a uh, uh, you can take as 18 18% of bismuth 18% of bismuth 18% bismuth and remaining 82% antimony okay so here here uh, from that 100% of 100% of antimony to 82% of antimony or we can say 0% of bismuth to 18% of bismuth we have only solid phase solid phase in is in equilibrium state so here no liquid phase is there and after this point we can take it as 65% of bismuth and 35% of antimony so after the 65% of bismuth to 100% of bismuth we have all liquid phase only liquid phase is in equilibrium okay let us take we uh, this is as alpha phase and this is at beta phase like the previous picture so here only solid phase is in uh, equilibrium and in this case only liquid phase is in equilibrium but in between this two position we have both the liquid and solid means we have alpha plus beta like uh, i have discussed in your previous lecture like this one if we take this one alpha beta and alpha plus beta so and this line is called tie line this line is called tie line where the temperature is constant temperature in is constant but the composition is varying up to 18% of bismuth that is solid phase after 65% of bismuth it is liquid phase and in between 18% to 65% of bismuth both liquid phase and solid phase both are present okay also we can take constant composition 70% of antimony and 30% of bismuth and we have three points 1 2 and 3 in position 1 or point 1 we have only liquid phase only liquid phase and the temperature is 13 degree fahrenheit if we reduce the temperature if we reduce the temperature and come to 
नाइन हंड्रेड डिग्री फारन हाइट वी है वी हैव और वी कैन से पॉइंट टू वी हैव बोथ लिक्विड एंड सॉलिड फेज आफ्टर रिड्यूसिंग द टेम्परेचर अप टू सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सी सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सी वी हैव वी आर इन थर्ड पॉइंट हेयर ओनली सॉलिड स्टेट इज देयर only solid state is there okay we have constant composition which is consist of 30% of bismuth and 70% of antimony and varying the temperature varying the temperature by varying this temperature we can get liquid phase liquid plus solid phase and solid phase so at 900 degree fahrenheit both liquid and solid phase are present in this case but at point 1 we have only one phase that is liquid phase and at 600 degree fahrenheit we have only one phase this is solid phase and this line this is this line is called tie line where the temperature is constant but composition is varying temperature is constant 900 degree fahrenheit but composition is varying and this line the above line is this is called liquidus line above of which we have only liquid phase and this one is solidus this one is solidus line below which we have only solid phase so that's all for today thank you